Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the BRS 12A Portable Outdoor Camping Stove. Alright, thanks for joining me today. Um, I wanted to do a review on this stove. Um, this is a stove that I picked up recently from a company called Fastech. If you want to pick this stove up, I will leave a link down below. Um, the nice part about this is it's not an expensive kerosene stove. Um, I've looked at some of the other Coleman ones, and um, this one kind of reminds me of the Coleman 553 or the Feather 400. It's, it's similar in nature. I mean, it's not the same stove, obviously, but it's kind of similar in nature. And these fold out for bigger pans. I'm just going to show you that real quick. Um, so I'm going to give you some information on the stove first. Now, for those of you wondering who BRS is, if you remember back... Sometime in the middle of this year, I reviewed that little tiny titanium BRS isobutane stove, the little 25 gram one that was as big as a quarter, and you screw it on an isobutane canister. Same company, same, pro same, uh, same company, different line of products. Now, this one burns three different fuels. Uh, you can burn white gas, which is Coleman fuel. I use this stuff. You can burn unleaded gasoline. Um, I always tell people to shoot for a low octane gas when you're burning unleaded gasoline. The higher octane gas has more additives. It can mess up your generator line here or your fuel hole where the, air, where the uh, aerosolized fuel comes out or kerosene. Um, the pros for these kind of stoves is they work in the cold, they work at high altitudes, and they'll always fire up no matter what unless something is physically damaged in the stove. Cons are they're a little heavy. You know, that's not a super ultralight stove. However, it's not as heavy as you would think. And we will weigh it later when I'm done giving you the information on it. So um, to start this stove up, it's a fairly simple process. You're going to pump it 30 times. You're going to open this up a little bit just to let some of the fuel that you've pressurized out into. I don't know if you can see the middle. There's a white kind of wicking material. That is a fireproof wicking material. And that material will soak up. You'll let it, you'll light it, you'll let it burn. It's going to heat up your fuel line and your generator line. And uh, once you are close to that going out and it's getting, you know, it's been going for a few minutes, you're going to want to turn on the gas and see where you're at as far as heat wise in there. Um, it'll sputter a little bit and then it will light up really, really well. So I am going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to start it up. Um, one of the problems I had with this when I purchased it was finding a video on it in English and on YouTube. <laughs> a lot of the videos um, for this, as you can tell, everything is, this is obviously made in China. Everything's in Chinese. Um, the instructions actually were pretty good. Got to give them credit for that. So it's a fairly simple stove to operate. And if you know how to operate the other Coleman stoves, this will be no problem. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up and uh, fire it up. And uh, let me get everything set up here, and uh, I'll show you how to prime it and start And it. one thing I forgot to mention before we get going is it does come with a very nice carry case. The carry case comes with a rubber funnel, so this is all squishy. You can put it pretty much anywhere. If you find a hard case for it, this will fit in somewhere. It also comes with a disassembly and repair tool. This will fit on any of the different items that you're going to need to work on. There is also in here, and I'm trying not to do this so I don't pinch myself, there is a hex wrench here. That will go on here and clean that out. And there is also a very sharp little needle. I don't know if you can see that needle. There you go. That little needle is for cleaning out the, the hole there where the uh, fuel comes out when it's aerosolized. So let me get this out of the way. You're going to want to fill it up with fuel. I would say about three quarters full. And I already have fuel in here, so I'm not going to go nuts with it. Then you're going to seal that up, and then we're going to pump Now this is it. where it does kind of differ from a Coleman stove when you're pumping. There is no hole here, so there's no need to let air in and hold it. You're just going to pump it. One, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There you go. So now we're going to open up the, uh, the valve here, and you can look in there and see if you're getting any fuel out. I may not be getting anything yet. All right, there we go. Got a little bit of fuel in there, and I'm going to kind of let it move around the, uh, the, the wick, fireproof wick down there. There we go. And then, from here on out, you just light it. There we go. 
So you're going to let that prime, okay? And I'll bring you back when it's close to being done priming. It takes about maybe hmm, four or five minutes. So I'll bring you back when it's close to priming, and we'll fire it up and see what it looks All like. Right, so we're getting pretty close to where it's ready to go. Um, I opened it up a little, and I heard the hissing. So the fuel, it's going, the heat going through here is aerosolizing the fuel. So it will come out of the jet as an aerosol and not as a liquid. I'm going to slowly turn it on. I'm going to leave it on low like that. And I'll bring you back once it's fully going and we got blue flame coming out of there. Yep, that's a loud stove. <laughs> I did pump it 30 more times. I did it off camera. Um, as you can tell, that flame is going nicely. Let's give you a little look there. So we are ready to do try some uh, two cups of water. See how long it takes. I'm going to start my stopwatch over here. And uh, we'll see how long it takes. Sorry about the edit, folks. How to run in and get my camera. I mean, my cell phone. So here we go. Let's see how long it takes to get two cups of water to a boil. We are a minute and ten seconds in. I'm starting to see bubbles on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Starting to see bubbles and a little bit of steam coming off. Two minutes, thirty seconds. We've got some bubbles bubbling on the bottom now, but we're not at a full rolling boil. There you go, three minutes, and we're at a rolling boil. We were at a little before that, but that's fine. So you see how quickly that can boil some water. So I'm going to take the water off, turn this off, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the stove itself. So there itself. you go. That is the BRS-12A. It is a three-fuel or multi-fuel stove. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I've, I've used it once before this video to test it out, see if I got the priming right. Priming is very simple. It's kind of the similar as the Seveo 123, you know, it's a similar method. You heat everything up in there. You get that uh, generator line with a lot of heat in it, so the uh, liquid is converted to a gas. And um, I like the fact that these fold out. That's really a handy, handy feature. So if you want to put a bigger pan on there, you can. If you want to use a smaller pan, you can too. So that's kind of a handy feature too. I don't want to touch it too much because it's still a little warm. Um, I wanted to give you the weight on it. So let's turn on our little... That is still hot. I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> okay, I have it in pounds on here. Because I know it's going to be more than a pound. Let's take a look at that. 1.37 pounds. So I mean it's not a light stove. But for something for you say uh, at your bug out location, um, for something, say, camping at higher altitudes, definitely a bomb-proof way to do it. You know, this is a good, well-made stove. Um, for the money, you're getting an incredible deal. One of the things I did notice about it, and I wanted to mention this to you guys when you get, if you do get one of these, when you get one, when I first fired it up, I was having a problem because there was tons of aerosolized gas coming through there. It was blowing out like crazy, but it was blowing out yellow. It wasn't that nice, strong blue flame. And then I realized that over here on the pump, this screws on as well, and this was loose. Once I tighten that down, tighten this down, everything ran perfectly. So that's the BRS-12A Portable Outdoor Camp Stove. I am going to put a link down below where you can pick this up. Uh, the company is called Fastech, and uh, this one shipped out of Germany. So I'm not sure where they're located, but I did find this. This is something I wanted to review for a while. So I will give you the link down below. And uh, when you're done checking out that, don't forget to check out our Amazon store. Check out our links. Even if you have something in there that you uh, like, I mean, even if you don't want to buy anything in the store, is what I was trying to say, and you want to just uh, shop on Amazon, click the link, shop as you normally would. Helps bring us some money so we can bring you more cool gear to test. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link if you're looking at stocking up on some uh, freeze-dried food. Thrive's got everything you could possibly want and more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.